What up YTPC? This is a Catholic Pipe Stater coming at you. And uh, this video we're gonna do a very quick Yabo. It's a small package and um, do a couple announcements and um, some some great things I learned about flake tobacco. So still gonna be a quick video, just kind of throwing a few things in that have been on my mind. So first let's get started. I am smoking um, well it's it's in it's in one of my lane one Q cans, but E. Hoffman Distinguished Gentleman. So, yeah. See, I, I'm, a, I'm a real big guy, believer of uh, holding on to the tins and uh, and using them for uh, bulk carry. So, I just grab an empty tin, stuff some bulk tobacco I have in it, and use it and carry it around, you know, and then just refill. So, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm smoking it in my Peterson Fishtail. And the drink pairing is coffee, as always. Let's just get started here. Oh. Well, looks like I'm going to go. I guess it's time for a fluid refill in this thing. You know what? That's why you always have a backup Bic. Every time. Alright. Oh. Yeah, this is a small order I got from uh, Smoking Pipes. It was pretty interesting. It's the first time I got the last 10 at smoking pipes for this one. Let me explain it to you here. Well, since I already mentioned it, I'll go ahead and uh, show you this one first. First things I got, something I've been really looking forward to trying is, um, man, sun's in the, Sam Gaweth uh, Chocolate Flake. Man, I'm sorry about the, the sun. Sam Gaweth Chocolate Flake. Um, yeah, you know, I'm an arrow guy and I've just found a new, a new love of flake tobaccos, which this is not, this is ribbon, but. Flake tobaccos are for my longer, longer uh, smokes. The ribbons are for the quick ones. And uh, so I ordered uh, two of these from Smoking Pipes, yet only got one because not long after I made my order, I got an email from a Smoking Pipes representative saying, um, <laughs> so uh, you bought the last 10 and were sold out because I did a quant quantity of two and they only had the one, so I, I seem to have purchased at just the right time. And so, and they're like, so I mean, what do you, what would you like to do? Would you like a credit? Would you like another tobacco? And I'm like, you know what? Y'all are out of like most of the Sam Gaweth uh, products, so just give me a credit, and I'll, I'll hold on to the credit until next time I get the restock update. And so they're like, cool. So they, they credited my account and um, sent me the rest of the order. So, yeah, so there you go. And then going on with the tobaccos, this is now, I believe, number four. This is uh, GL Peace Quiet Nights. Uh, it's good stuff. I think, I want to say this is this is my fourth tin of it now that, that I have. I don't know why, why I bought it. I have, uh, I have plenty to last me years. But the at the rate I smoke and um, their jail piece tobaccos, especially quiet knots, isn't going anywhere. I just I don't know. I just felt like buying some, so I did. And uh, where did it go? Got a small one. And uh, you know, right here, they gave me these. These came free, I guess, with the um, ordering their tobacco. Well, that's well. This is McBaron, not Sam Gowith, but I didn't order these. They just I like, threw them in there, but they're pretty good. I've got if you saw my other Yabos, I have plenty of pipe cleaners, so you know I'm not short on this. And finally, I'm getting to the point. Some of my older pipes. Oh, man, hold one more. Some of my older and estate pipes 
they're showing their age. So I had to get me a, a reamer. So I just got I just got the standard one that was on the site. Nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna try my hand at reaming some of my old pipes and uh, see what happens. Never done it before, but I'm sure there's a mutton chop or some other uh, piper out there that gave a great tutorial, and I'm gonna watch it and then give them a shout out once uh, I successfully complete my reaming. So <laughs> we'll see. And then last but not least, I ordered my very first book from Smoking Pipes. This is Pipe and Tobacco by, well, it just says uh, 6D or whatever, but Pipes and Tobacco book. This is a reprint. Oh, here it is right here. What were they saying in 1901 about pipes and tobacco? Uh, Mr. J.W. Cundell wrote this in 1901. This is a reprint. Wrote this book in 1901, and it should be pretty fascinating. How it looks like it'll be a pretty quick read. And I'll, uh, yeah, modes of use, snuff, as a luxury, the influence of tobacco. So this ought to be a, no doubt, a pretty good read. So I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all know because the YTPC needs some good book reviews for some uh, pipe-related materials. So yeah. I'll, I'll be sure to get that done. Uh, and that is, you know, that's my Yabo. It's just a few few items. This was one of those Yabos that came about where I was just wanting some tobacco, which was a chocolate flake. You know, ordered two, got the one. And, you know, you can't, some, you can't just order a tin of tobacco, a tin or two of tobacco. You gotta throw in some other things. Like, you know, you always need random other things. So like, you know what, let's just make this a good order. So you, you always just gotta add some things to it, you know. Can't ever be like, oh, here's my Yabo, here's my one tin of tobacco, and that's 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 all I got, you know what I mean? YTP series, we don't do that. We we try to make, we, we try to make a good order because we got the Yabo in mind already. Oh yeah. Okay, and so now let me put all this back up. Some uh, announcements and thoughts. Um, announcements are um, my last video. I posted my 100 sub giveaway. So thank you all for um, you know subscribing to this channel. You know, and y'all's input is great. I try to take it into consideration. And this community is phenomenal. Just uh, can't get over it. And uh, yeah, it's just. Um, yeah, just, I mean, thank you. I don't know where I was going with that, but, uh, yeah, so I got my guy out there, so I'm really looking forward to y'all's VRs. It's a month, so September 1st, y'all got plenty of time. Just the rules and requirements are in the description of that video, so just, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just in it to hear some good stories, and I'm gonna send y'all some, some great stuff. Um, yeah. And now I want to, uh, talk about thoughts on flake tobacco, my new love and passion. So... I, you know, I'll, again, newbie, been doing this about a year. Um, I like the ribbon cut. I've always liked the ribbon cut because it's easy. It's you, you pinch the tobacco, put it in your pipe, tamp it down, and light it. But then you have issues like this where the stinking thing just won't stay lit, you know? So you have to keep doing this. Well, after... After a lot of failed attempts, I, I tried to. I decided, you know, let's give tobacco, let's give flake tobacco, a fair shot. So I, I grabbed some, uh, got some of my Drexel flake, and I, I started uh, consciously trying to smoke it, and, and, and I was just, you know, rubbing it out, you know, and basically like, basically a uh, thin broken flake, and stuffing it in my pipe and uh, lighting it, and that was great too. But still had kind of the same issues um, I did with the ribbon cut. It's just kind of like, you know, the, the strands and stuff were going all over the place in the bowl. It's kind of hard to stay lit. Oh, well, that's pretty much just ash. but And stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. But then if you saw on, the, on my joint mantle with OTC Piper over at his channel, um... 
you know, he kind of gave me a tutorial because he's a big flake smoker. And, uh, and he, he did twists. He noticed the grains were all going straight in one direction. So I did that. I grabbed my Rossi pipe, which I got, and I used that um, nearly exclusively for a flake. I got some uh, H&H Burley, you know. So far, my favorite flake I've ever tried. I've only tried a few, but this is by far my favorite. Love smoking it. Burns wonderfully. Um, so I, I folded it, you know, then folded it again. And then, so I folded it long ways, then folded it again, kind of make like a cylinder. And then I folded that cylinder of tobacco in half. And then once it's in half, you just I just squeeze it tight and then stuff it into my uh, my pipe. And you get it, and then you I just I just use my finger at first, kind of like you know, uh, tamp it down in there. And my goodness, uh, the other day drive actually uh, I don't know it was yesterday or the day before driving home from work, and I had the best smoke I've ever had. The pipe stayed lit. I even made a few phone calls driving home, set my pipe down in my center console, picked it back up, did a puff, and it came right back to life. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it was a thorough, strong smoke all the way home. I was like literally sad when it finally went out and I looked in the bowl and it was just ash. That's how good of a smoke it was. And, uh, you know, it's just my new love affair with, with flake tobacco. It's, uh... It keep, it it helps. I mean, you know, you know, there's nothing wrong with any kind of cut of tobacco. It's it's a uh, preference or whatnot. But um, ah, it's it's just it's just finally good for me to have um a pipe, and not have to worry about relighting it every couple of minutes and tamping it. It's it's actually once you get the um the technique down for a flake, and start folding it and uh, pressing it. You, you have like a, it's basically a one lighter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it smokes smooth all the way down, and um, man, it's just got me that more pumped up for this, for this amazing um, hobby we all have here, so. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on Flake, um, my mini Yabo, and my, uh, my few announcements, so, you know, hey, uh, it's pretty good. And I started a bit early because I'm like those lunchtime trains, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, luckily, no trains today. Anyways, uh, this is uh, Catholic Pipe Setter saying God bless and pleasant smokes.